Welcome into the Lantern Sports Wrap-Up Show. I'm your host, Gabe Burgraff, joined by Casey Smith and Jacob Benj. And today we heard from Ohio State here in Atlanta. We are at the site of the Peach Bowl. Mercedes-Benz Stadium will play host to that Saturday, Georgia and Ohio State. What did you hear from the offense? Marvin Harrison Jr., C.J. Stroud, a couple other offensive players, and Kevin Wilson spoke today. What did you hear from them and what they're expecting this, this week in the lead-up to the game and what, what they think they can do? You know, that's right, Gabe. We heard a lot from Ohio State's offense, and in particular, the big takeaway for me is hearing how Kevin Wilson has spent the last two or three weeks balancing becoming the next head coach at Tulsa out there in Oklahoma and being the offensive coordinator of a team that's in the college football playoff. And he said he spent about 70% of his time focusing on helping the Buckeyes get ready for this Bulldogs team that's it's one of the best defenses in the country. It's one of the best offenses in the country. It's going to be a major challenge on Saturday. And so that's what leads me to think, how is Ohio State going to use Marvin Harrison Jr. and Emeka Ibuka? You got on one hand someone who can make catches with one hand, and sometimes none. Shoestring catches like that at Penn State stand out for Marvin Harrison seasons for me. Emeka Ibuka and his end arounds, the elusiveness, the way he can cut, run, all that dynamic, dynamic skills uh, that has helped Ohio State just keep its offense clicking. And you know, for me, I'm looking for those two to really provide a challenge to a uh, Georgia secondary that you know is one of the top in the country. Um, no surprise for a Georgia team that's number one in the country. Right. Ohio State's really going to have to attack that Georgia secondary because you're not going to get much push at the line of scrimmage with Jalen Carter and those type guys. They're six and seven deep on that defensive line for the Bulldogs. And Paris Johnson Jr. talked about that, just how as an offensive lineman being able to dominate the man across from you, that's sort of everything you dream of. And, I mean, everything coming into this game, Ohio State's seen as the underdog for the first time in my eyes since the 2020 National Championship against Alabama. So, I mean, all the chips are stacked against them. They're playing pretty much a true road game in a hostile environment. Georgia's played at this stadium. It's technically a neutral site, but they played there three times this season. Um, so, I think Ohio State, they're kind, they kind of have a little bit of an edge to them. And we've heard Ryan Day say in the past they're going to want to come and play out loose and – really lay it all out on the line. And I think you kind of got a glimpse of that against Clemson um, in the semifinal a couple years ago before that national championship. So it'll be interesting to see how Ohio State kind of plays with this chip on their shoulder, um, just being able to come in and potentially shock the world. And that's the thing, shock the world, they might. Saturday, Mercedes-Benz Stadium, we'll have you covered at Lantern Sports until then. For myself, Casey Smith and Jacob Benj. This has been the Lantern Sports Wrap-Up Show. Thank you for watching and take care.